Hey guys, it's Herbivore Beauty. Welcome back to my channel. I am still here in Costa Rica, not for much longer, but I'm excited to make my five month walk video for you guys. Sorry for the background noise, there's still people outside here. But um, I know this video is a little bit late um, just because I was getting out a whole bunch of other videos that I completely forgot to make this one. So as I just mentioned, I've had my locks for five months now and I didn't style them or anything so that you guys can see my actual progress of my locks. So to start off with, I'm going to go in a little bit close and show you guys. They're a little fluffy right now because I didn't sleep with anything on them, so they have all the fluff from my pillow on it. But um, I wanted to give you guys five tips to make your starter locks journey a little bit smoother because I know I've definitely been through some stuff with my locks, but it's been going pretty well so far. And so I wanted to give you guys um, sort of what I've been doing, some advice so that when you start your lock journey, you'll know what to expect, what to look for, and how to make it go smoother for you. So to start off with my locks, um, I have 4C-ish hair, so my curls are super, super coily. They're like the coiliest of all of them, and each individual strand coils. So all that my hair has ever wanted to do is just lock up or mat up. So back when um, I had my loose natural hair, my all my hair, like say I didn't wrap it up or like twist it at night, it would just start matting up on its own. And so it was basically free forming on its own. And I could not stand that because I wanted my loose natural hair, not locks. And so when I finally started my locks, I noticed that my hair like almost immediately was just like matting up and locking up. And um, that's why like sometimes it looks like my hair is a whole lot more progressed than what it should be at five months. And my first tip for you is just to make sure that you are letting your hair be, let your hair do its natural thing. Um, you're not always manipulating it, to just putting your hands in your hair. I know I do that a lot, but it's really just, the lock journey is about like letting your hair like do its own thing basically and that's super important if you guys do want to start your natural hair journey and ways to know that you're not really ready for it is just if you always have to change your hairstyle if you always have to do things to your hair that you know will kind of affect your lock journey so um, you want to manipulate your hair as little as possible but this one relates more to um, constant retwists you don't need to retwist your hair super super often I know it's just different for me because I'm semi free forming so I haven't really retwisted my hair since beginning beginning of my journey but what I mean by this is just not constantly like retwisting your hair if you see like it like a little bit fuzzy you don't need to always retwist it and just by doing that you're gonna notice that your roots are a lot thicker your hair just feels fuller and even though it's not gonna be like as neat as it would be as soon as you got the fresh retwist it doesn't mean that it's gonna look any worse if that makes sense there's still a way to make your hair look nice without um, constantly retwisting it my second tip is to remember that your hair is still just your hair um, it goes through the same sort of things as your loose natural hair did and what I mean by that is when you start your lock journey I know for the first like month or so you don't want to like wash it right away just because some of you might have like looser texture hair so it might not lock up as quickly so you might need to use what like the tights on your head or whatever that is but honestly I feel like when you wash your hair when it gets uncomfortable it's gonna make this dirty so much easier for you and um, you're gonna feel so much better just because when I was a loose natural my hair I used to wash it every like 10 days ish um, and that's what worked best for me some people for them it worked best if they wash their hair once a month some people if they wash their hair once a week everybody has like um, everybody knows their hair they know like how quickly their oils their natural oils come out and help their hair um, succeed with washing your hair like still remember that you know exactly what your hair was like before this journey you know um, how often you needed to wash it in order for it to stay healthy clean but also moisturize and so that you can feel your natural oils just like hydrating your hair and i think it's really important that you understand that yeah your hair is in locks right now but as soon as it sort of gets to a stage where you're um, comfortable enough to wash it like regularly or like even a little bit more gently but regularly i think that you should go back to your regular routine and remembering that that's how your hair has best thrived as a loose natural so um, this is how your hair will most likely thrive just as well as a locked hair. <laughs> 
as your life. Now something you do want to do, especially if you're semi-freeforming like me, is to separate your locks regularly. So by separating your locks, I just mean like going in between, making sure each like individual lock has its own, I guess basically part. And you just want to do that unless you want your other locks to mesh together. And um, I personally don't want that. Some people like that. So if you do, then go for it. But for me, my journey's been a lot like smoother in my hair. Um, I've been able to keep it neater just by separating it since I don't retwist. Next is try to make sure that you keep your products to a minimum. You don't want to overdo it with the products just because you're going to get a lot of buildup and it's going to be hard to get out, especially in between where you first started your locks. So like that little area there, that, but in between the new growth. And the last but not least, my final tip for you guys is to not compare your lock journey to anybody else's. This is probably the most important tip because everybody's going to look different at five months. Everybody's going to look different in a year. Everybody has different different hair textures, started their locks differently, and I know you try to look for people who have similar hair to you, started the, your locks the same way or whatever, but um, that's really good for inspiration to see, oh wow, like this is how they could be, this is how I can style them, blah blah blah, but it's really important not to discourage yourself with other people's locks if theirs is more like matured than yours, or if theirs is more like, um, if theirs is thicker, if theirs looks healthier. This is gonna be really harmful to your lock journey just because you're gonna feel like you're in that constant state of like wishing your locks looked like somebody else's, wishes, um, wishing your journey was the same as theirs, but nobody in the world has the exact same locks as anybody else. Nobody um, does the, has the same like lock routine, nobody has the same wash routine, nobody has the same way of starting their locks or twisting methods, nobody's um, doing semi-freeform the same or freeform the same, and so that's so important to remember you look at your locks as opposed to somebody else's and you're gonna be like oh wow like why does theirs look like this it's because all of our locks are so different and unique and special in their own way so don't compare your journey to anybody else's and that is the final tip on making your lock journey go a whole lot smoother than where it might have gone if you're just diving right into this hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you check out my other lock update videos if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel to check out me on social media and I will see you guys in my next video bye